Coming up next on Making It Here. Tonight we're going up to Chesterfield, Massachusetts and let you mush some dogs. Jim's had to be there around 10. Yeah, I'm at 10.30 is my first demonstration, and at 10.30 and at 1.30, and so I'll get there around 10. What made me start this business? I love being outside. I love being physical outside. Hiking, biking, kayaking, swimming, skiing, skijuring, dog sledding. That's what I want to do. I want to be outside and do that all day long. So how can I make money doing that? I will be your personal guide and provide you this experience, this adventure, right here in your backyard in places people don't know about because that's where I'm always exploring with my dog, my Malamute. And a lot of people sometimes they're a little scared, a little shy to go by themselves into the woods. But if somebody's taking them who knows the area, much more confident. So I can take you on these adventures without, without you having to go far from home. I am known as an adventurer in my life, so yeah, I just took what I do naturally. I decided to make uh, some, some work at it. We have the sled, and this is a basic sled. This is more like a camping, sort of touring sled. It's not what you call a racing sled. Racing sleds are metal and they're really, um, they're more high tech and they're very aerodynamic. And uh, Ron brought with him seven dogs today. And his dogs are a mix. He started with coon hounds, and then he got into Siberians. And Simon here is a little Siberian. He's a Siberian Husky. And uh, he's small, so he's a little faster. A musher is someone who's a little crazy. Um, you gotta be, you're dealing with nature, the elements, and animals. How more of the unknown and unexpected can you ex predict? So mushing is the name of the sport that is dog sledding. And the dogs are called sled dogs. Sled dogs go way back. Originally, they were the workforce. They helped the Inuit and indigenous people in Alaska, in Siberia, in the cold climates, Greenland, Iceland. They helped them travel over the frozen tundra. And so they worked closely with the people and they really became quite um, interdependent on each other. And Today, here, there's much sport of, of sled dogging and dog sledding. And people race and they do it for exercise, for activity, for community. Racing, they can make money and you have the Iditarod, Yukon Quest, the Ferrandi, there's European races. Um, so its purpose is for transportation, Travel, recreation, sport, and uh, personal connection. Ron and I, uh, we met at the Chesterfield Gorge, and I had just got back from Alaska, and I started talking to him, and um, he hurt his knee last year at work, so he was on disability, and he couldn't drive his sled and he told me he needs somebody to run his dogs. And here, I'm just back from Alaska, not even a week. Had this hardcore intensive training, had no dogs to run. I, and I said, you want, I'll run your dogs. And he said, really? I said, yeah. He said, great. <laughs> that was like, that was it. And I called him and he called me and uh, I ran his dogs. And then I said, hey, should we give rides to the public? And uh, he said, why not? Hey, where are you going? Yeah. Good girl, Betty Boop. Whoa. Good dogs. Nobody loves to run like Alaskan Huskies do. They are crazy about running. Nice, nice. Huh? And it's this Good forward dogs. motion to just go. Good dogs. What a beautiful day. Woohoo! Hike, hike. I think being outside in the snow with the wind and with the dogs running and howling and the movement uh, to me is very healing. I love winter. It's my favorite season. The snow, the purity of the snow, the white, the flakes, 
that just cleanses my soul that's what gets me through and ready for a whole nother year so to me being on a dog sled is ultimate well i think everybody should try it don't you The rapport, the trust, and the bond you have with the dog really is more than half the equation. Today, mushers have realized it's all about being humane. It's about how you treat the animals. You feed them, you reward them, you love them. They want to be with you. They want to listen to you. They want to work with you. If you yell at them and you hit them, especially these dogs, sled dogs, the northern breeds are really sensitive they're going to shy away from you. They're not going to want to respond to you. So the bond, it's like your ch children. It's got to be one of, of trust and of love. And then they'll, they'll try to do whatever they can for you. Go, hike, hike! There is a reality side to mushing. Um, taking care of the dogs and making sure they don't fight and cleaning up their poop in all temperatures, whether it's raining, it's hailing, it's snowing. And if the dogs fight, you know, that's not allowed because you can't let them get hurt. So there's this whole reality side that kind of is the work side. But it's worth it. It is worth it because then when you get to take that you know, ride to heaven and you get to just go and you fly and you don't know what's around the corner and you hang on to those runners and you duck and you just make it and you get whipped and you're still on and you're flying you're like this is worth it this is fun <laughs>